until Saturday in the series. You don't want to give them a shot back. They've had two already. John Salmons, great job. Well, he does a great job of stopping on one side or the other. Doesn't he, Jim, get a block out like he would normally get? John, we got a clarification. Oh, oh, oh. The Bucks get an easy basket on a beautiful dish by Salmons. A kind of a slide back screen down the middle by Bamute. Delfino with a deflection. The Bucks had a ton of deflections in game three. And what that does is exactly what happened here. <laughs> All right. That 70 and 116 record. Overall, every game. John Salmons. Oh, Thomas. And uh, Salmons gets back on him. Joe fiddling with it too long. Gets the turnover. Can continue to do what they do and keep Atlanta out of the paint, keep them out of the fast break situation. They get a great shot to win. All right, back to the second half. Just getting underway. Of course, he has Luke Richard on him, so they're going to try to keep him from helping. And there, he did not get the help. He might have if he didn't. Johnson has been the leading scorer in each of the first three games in the series. Thomas gets it back from Salmons. Well done. After the 13 came early in game three. He really set the tone along with John Salmons in the Bucks' first victory in this series. Salmons, tough shot. He hits it. We've got the contact. Luke Ridden, Al Horford. Al Horford out. Zaza in. Al 6'10. Everyone standing. We're putting the other team on the line too many more times than they get there. Got to make your throws, though. But now it's the chase and foul. You realize the Bucks only have two team fouls. They've played this entire physical. Nobody's leaving. Oh. Yes, sir. Well, don't because he's, he'll, he'll say, Jim, you know, if we get five and six, it's right. over. That's right. They can cut either way now. Bucks win a huge game. Wow.